air goes straight through it when I'm flying. Makes a whistling noise. <laughs> Everyone always knows when I'm coming. Wouldn't do for me. I hunt by stealth. Do you now? Yes, I do. Well, fish don't hear me. In the water, you see. Tell you what, I'll catch you some for breakfast. Watch this. What an exhibition. Surely you're not impressed, are you, Fox? Oh. A wise leader is never influenced by mere show-offs. I wouldn't be. But then, of course, my wisdom is legendary. What do you think, Ada? Ada? <laughs> Your wife seems to like swimming. Yeah, she's frightened of the heron, you see. Always rolls up when she's frightened. We both do. Yeah. It's all right, dear. Yeah. He's a friend. There you are! Somebody ought to tell that heron about the oath. <laughs> Scaredy snake! Scaredy snake! I can swim perfectly well on my own, thank you. Only trying to help, matey. That heron frightened me half to death. And we're all dried out again in no time, matey. Or then again, maybe you won't, eh? <laughs> oh dear, it's starting to rain. Doesn't seem to bother Whistler. Or Toad. Ahoy, mateys! I can do what Whistler can. Watch me. But I need a nice comfy seat to watch this. <gasps> Ahoy there, Whistler. Let's see if I can catch a fish too. I want to learn how to fish like you. Toads don't catch fish. Well, I do. I'll show you. I'll do it if it kills me. Now we have two exhibitionists. Toad needs little or no encouragement at the best of times. He needs teaching a lesson. Too true, Ada. Pride comes before a fall, or so they say. Whistler, you're spoiling us. You'll have us as fat as Toad and Mole. He hasn't come up yet. Uh, who's that, Mole? Toad, he hasn't come up. Perhaps he's so full of worms, he's sunk. Look what I got! Look, there he is. He's caught a fish. Told you I could, eh? <laughs> oh no, something's happened to him. Oh no! I say, that old calf's got him. He's too fat to swallow. Just as well, Adder. Toad's the only one who knows the way to White Deer Park. Serves Fox right. For trusting a toad. Sealed his eyes. He mustn't see this. But I want to see. I want to. Whistler, can you do anything to help? Hmm. My pleasure. I've been after that carp for years. him, Weasel. You'll squash him. Hooray! Hooray! Are you all 
right, Toad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Poor thing. Do you think you could throw it back? I beg your pardon? He's out of his senses. No, I'm not. Just can't bear to see it gasping like that. Stupid toad. It was trying to swallow you. Please, Whistler. One last favor. Well, if you put it like that. What a sacrifice. You realize he's been trying to catch that fish for years. I'm sorry, matey. What a way to reward you for saving me, eh? <laughs> Make you throw your fish back. Does seem a bit odd. The oaths changed us, Whistler. Before we started out on this journey to Whitefield Park, we'd none of us think for a moment about throwing back a fish like that. But now... Live and let live. That's our motto. Well, makes a change, I must say. You know, I do find you animals rather intriguing. He'll be asking if he can come with us next. <laughs> hmm, not a bad idea, that. But it's nice here. True, but it gets a bit lonely, you know. Lots of ducks and fish, of course, but are there any herons at White Deer Park? Now you can't mention it, I did see one or two. Uh, female herons? Now there you got me, matey. Can't tell the difference, see? <laughs> <laughs> and he's guiding us? Ridiculous. Well, Whistler, you might be lucky and find a mate. I was. If we ever get there, <laughs> Toad's a bit accident prone. Yes. From now on, Toad, you'd better stick close. No going off on your own, right? You see, Toad, you really are too important to lose. We must take care of you. I'm important? Yes. Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. ho, I'm important. I'm important. Was that wise, Fox? It was kind, Al. Of course. Owl is right. We should have asked her advice on how best to take care of Toad. Um, if you say so, dear. Hmm. And now Whistler wants to join us. You have to take the oath. Oath? The oath of mutual protection. And so shall you, my dear. Fox's mate cannot be exempt. I say. I shall be glad to take the oath. Hmm, <clears throat> all right then. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, say after me, I, Vixen, or Whistler, whichever you are, you know better than me. Um, I, uh, um, uh, I, I Whistler, Vixen, do solemnly swear not to swallow, um, or otherwise consume, not, not to, to swallow, swallow, or otherwise consume, consume and anybody, anybody while on a route, route to Toad's White Deer Park. Park. I'm exhausted. Can't we stop? We're safer moving. Safer, he says. That whistle's a sure giveaway. Might as well shout it from the treetops. If we do meet any humans, they'll be staring up at Whistler so hard, we'll be able to pass right under their noses without being seen. <laughs> High-pitched wine! All morning I've had to put up with it. Gets on my nerves. I like it. Just knowing Whistler's about makes me feel safe. Walked right into the middle of a pheasant shoot. Hee! Hee! Take care! Quick, everyone. Keep together. Hare, keep an eye on those rabbits. Oh, those dogs. It reminds me. Shh. 
with any luck, they'll be so busy with the birds, they won't pick up our scent at all. Don't panic! Don't panic! Look here, son. Oh, dear. I can't help thinking about poor Pheasant and his wife. hole in your other wing, do you? That would be unfortunate. But deserved. What did you say? Shh! I don't want to be taken for a peasant. Don't panic! Oh, no. Good boy! It's my fault. I'm his mother. I'm supposed to protect him. Oh, you're a good mother. You did your best. So did you. To think Owl saved him from the snare for this. He may not have died in vain, Badger. They're going away. We need to be sure of that before we go on. I think we'd better rest for a while. Uh, getting dark. We'll move at first light. Well, Whistler, and how are you enjoying the journey? <laughs> eh, what? I was just wondering how you were enjoying the journey. Hmm. Well, I'm beginning to see... Why you all stick together, Owl? The sooner we reach White Deer Park, the better. Ah, Kestrel, I thought you'd be asleep. I'm anxious about tomorrow. Only he who is without hope is without anxiety. But he who is without anxiety is at peace. Oh, oh shut, shut up! up.